Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I want to talk about the spark, the spark that turns into the fire. You see, initially on this journey, the spark is ignited. And both twins believe that it's just a beautiful soulmate connection. Both twins believe that it's just a spark and a connection, but it'll probably fizzle out. But as the days and hours move on, they realise that this connection is way beyond this world. The connection often is only very short-lived because the, the spark that is initially there, and I, you know, like I always say, the spark is ignited by divine masculine. Think of divine masculine as the flint. Divine feminine is the wood. Divine, fem divine masculine is the flint and the flint causes the spark. The wood allows the spark to catch and the two together, the flame starts to burn. And as the flame is burning, both twins feel this intense love and desire and want and need to spend the rest of their life together. But the thing is, this is way beyond a 3D relationship. This is one energetic soul. This is the same soul frequency, the same soul essence, the same soul signature. When the chakras align, they align perfectly. When they look into each other's eyes, they see their own vibration staring back. And so the energy builds very, very rapidly and very, very intensely. Before long, that flame is out of control. Divine Feminine has lost herself completely in the burning flame, in the burning fire. It is now a fire. It is now out of control. Divine Masculine at this point cannot put out the fire, cannot control the fire. Everything that he wanted, because he, ign he ignited the, the, the wood to create the fire, and everything that he wanted was the flame, was the fire. But now it is completely out of control. He feels completely chaotic. He feels completely overwhelmed. And he is so scared that he is going to get burnt to a cinder. What can he do? What can he do at this point? The only thing he can do to escape what he is feeling, this overwhelming energy and chaotic feeling and overwhelm, and, and the fear, the fear that is in him is in every part of his being is to run and run as hard, run as far and pretend it never happened. What does divine feminine do? Well, divine feminine is not bothered about the fire. She is now in the raging fire, but just searching for divine masculine. Where are you? Let's put out the fire together. But Divine Masculine is nowhere to be seen. Divine Masculine is long gone. And she is there alone. Trying to put out the fire. Trying to control the fire. But her focus is no longer really on the fire. Her focus is knowing she's got this fire all around her and it is burning her. But her focus is on the other. Thinking that they will save her. But here's the thing, Divine Feminine. You are the fire. You were always the fire. You are the flame. And here is the thing. You have to learn how to alchemize the fire. How to alchemize the flame. How to detox all that crazy energy. And to understand that you are the flame, you are the fire. And once you start to alchemize this energy, you start to calm that fire down. You start to work with the fire and you become that beautiful flame that burns. And that flame starts to shine a light out, starts to really align with each of the chakras. 
and you realize that you are this beautiful sovereign being. You realize that everything that you felt like was falling apart, all the friends, family, maybe career, maybe your job, started to dissipate as you were catapulted onto this journey. That deep feeling of loss, that deep feeling of being alone was actually part of the journey of releasing of you realizing that you are this beautiful sovereign being and you are now on the path of your ascension and when you realize this you now dance with the fire you become the flame you are the beautiful flame and that flame is there to be a guiding light out into the world to help shift the world into a higher state of consciousness. And at this point, you are shifting into a beautiful frequency, a beautiful energy where you are this flame, but you also realize that you are the universe, that you are creation and you are creating in every now moment as this beautiful light being as beautiful divine feminine and the love for the world, the love for the universe, the love for animals, the love for nature is all around you. At this point, you have shifted into oneness with that flame. You realize you are creating that light. You are that flame. Your focus is no longer on divine masculine. But guess what? At this point, he comes back. He feels that loss, that energetic loss. Remember, this is an energetic frequency. It is an energetic oneness of the one soul. But at this point, it is not for you to take focus off your journey, off your flame, off your light. Stand in your sovereignty, still balancing and alchemizing that energy and that shared energy, but also that peacocking energy. Because at this point, divine masculine is no longer running. And it is up to you to hold that beautiful sovereign space. In my Twin Flame course, I always talk about once they start to come back in, how it is so important that you take them in in extremely small amounts. This is because it is an energetic connection. And if you take them in in a massive amount of frequency, it will cause the running again. So balance the energy knowing that you are the flame. But if you burn too bright, that fire will get out of out of um, control again. Think about, I think it was the Weekenders, weren't they? Did, was it Weekenders? They did that, um, that song, The Flame and the Moth. The moth comes to inquire to the light because you are the light. But if you focus your energy on the moth, the moth will burn. So keep that energy focused on you. If you need more help and support on this journey, head over to my website. It's down in the description. I send you much love.